Hi everyone, I'm going to react to you. You and have the dawn episode four and last episode. Um, they showed us how Hack came to become sort of well the replacement. No, <laughs> no replacement. Um, the up and coming general, I guess, of Hack of Hack of the thumb. Not the tribe, yeah, of the not the tribe you met, um, his grandpa, and then um, they showed us how those three were when they were like little kids and how everything has changed now. But yeah, that's what happened last episode. And before we get into this one, if you guys have my reaction, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And please consider supporting my Patreon at patreon.com slash fiolamini. Now let's start this episode. And here we go. Where he was beaten by Snake because he wanted to get the brooch or whatever. Which is... Capital Fuga. Oh, I'm just not noticing like the different animals, like in the background, as each character, the showing each character. Well, they're all dragons. <laughs> they're all dragons. I don't know what. Uh, I felt like it was different animals for everybody, but yeah. Hack better not die. Uh, I want to see the green hair person so much, the Wind Clan. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Has that never happened? <laughs> also, that's what he wanted to do. He's not going to believe whatever it is that they tell him about Huck. That's for sure. Oh, so that's the fire tribe. <laughs> oh, is this the guy that was after her? So that's the story they're going with. Okay. Grandpa, see what's going on.
Hilfe. What is he trying to do, man? See, that's why I don't, I can't hear him. Oh no, we'll see. Oh, he's so cute. It's because it didn't taste bad. That's why. Maybe, I don't know. Let me see. You forgot. Does he know how to wash? Where are you going? Why? How? Now the people there are gonna know that she's the princess, right? That's what I thought. Rebellion thing, right? Oh, so this was the guy that was after her. He can't forget what. Mm -hmm. Where did he say he's frail?
She's gonna be like telling the grandpa to accept, to approve the the swan being the king. Hang, hang there. Exactly. I knew he was going to say that. Nope. Oh. So he's leaving her behind? Once they said that um, that if Moondog accepted Suwon as the new king or whatever, then th that automatically means that they're going to be agreeing with the fact that Hack was King Il's killer and all of that. And then the fire trap started doing all these things, you know, damming up the the river, water, river, whatever, to prevent water from coming in, and doing all those things. I'm like, Hack is not gonna let the people of the wind trap suffer, you know. He's gonna do what he has to do, and what he has to do is tell his grandpa to agree with everything someone is saying or whatever, and that he was gonna have to abandon his name. You know, and leave the wind trap so that the wind trap can live easier, happier lives. I knew he was gonna do that. I just did, I don't know why I didn't. I thought that he was gonna take Yorona with him, but no, he's like he was gonna leave her behind. There they're calling her Rina, right? So they, she's he's gonna leave her behind to live a happier, whatever life. In the wind tribe and I'm like okay we have clearly seen her with a bow and arrow you know shorter hair her transformed I guess my thing is at first I thought she when she learns that Hack was gonna leave her behind she's not gonna agree she's gonna want to go with him but then if she stays in the wind, maybe she stays in the wind tribe and gets some training in there and then becomes who she is now and leaves the tribe or whatever to reclaim her throne. I don't know, something like that. But yeah. So on, man. Hey. When Hack decided that they were going to go back to his hometown, then they went there and then they met. Oh, the characters in this show, man, they are so funny. But those two, they were guarding um, the door, I guess, and sleeping. And oh, the little brother, he was so adorable and cute. And then, and then they're like his friend. So when they got back in there, and then they said that they called all the 
tribes, the leaders of the tribes for a meeting or whatever in the castle and that they called the grandpa Mundok also there as well. And then during the meeting, they just said that when Asuwon came in, he's just like, the king is dead. How can you not have disappeared? And that they can't leave the throne like that for a long time or the other neighboring countries are going to start attacking because since the king ill didn't want to have any kind of conflict with any countries, he gave them lands or something. And now that the king is dead, they feel like the throne is weak. So, you know, once people hear that, they are going to try to start attacking. So they need a new king and that the only one of royal blood there was Suwon. And the other tribes accepted. And I'm like, Mundok knows Hak. You know, he knows Yona. He knows the situation in the castle. So he's not going to believe that Hak killed the king. He's not going to believe that. But Suwon didn't actually say that either. He didn't tell them that Hak killed the king. There was just, just, just a rumor going around. Rumor that they probably started. But he didn't say anything during the meeting. He's, he was still acting like the kid that you know the friend that he was the young king sweet and all that young king lord sweet and all that that he was you know he was still acting like that but moon duck was like hmm. and then when they came to all of them accepting the leader of the fire tribe is the first one that accepted i believe and he is also in, I guess, with, like he knows what Suwon did. I don't think the others do. Or maybe, maybe they do, but I don't think they do. I feel like only the fire trap, that one, is he's the only one that knows. And he probably is the one that's working closely with Suwon, but... Mundog didn't say anything, he's like, I'm just tired, I'm gonna leave. And then they sort of like made a veil threat about if he does not accept, then his tribe is going to be considered as a tribe that wants to start a rebellion or something or other. And then before he left, he told Suwon that he has always considered him as his grandson as well. And then Suwon told him that in three days, I think they were going to do the, have the coronation that he was expecting him to be there or something or other and then after as he was watching Munda cleave he's like i'm really glad you s thought of me or you still think of me as your grandson or, or something or other. and i'm like boy clearly <sighs> i don't know i just i feel like that's gonna come another twist is gonna come you know because like i said before i don't believe that story about king ill killing his brother like i really don't believe that i feel like it's a plan from somebody else but in this particular moment someone actually believes it and that's why he's doing all of this i feel like there's somebody else in the background pulling the strings to make all of these things happen and i feel like by the end of this anime Swan is going to realize what he did, that he was in the wrong, you know, I just don't know if it's going to be too late for him or something or other. So when I see these moments where he appreciates like Moondog, consider him as a grandson, I'm like, there's still that kindness in him, you know, so I can't, I don't like, uh, <laughs> I see him, I don't hear him, you know, I, I don't, I don't dislike him either, <laughs> I don't know why, I don't dislike him, even though I saw him kill the king, I still don't dislike him, and I st still don't hate him, and I feel like he's still like a kind person at heart, just being, he's just thrown into this, all these shenanigans, 
doing somebody else's will. Like, like he doesn't know that he's doing somebody else's will. Like, he, he thinks he... I don't know. I guess we'll see. But, yeah. I don't want to say in the first episode that I didn't trust him. And, yeah, I didn't trust him because he killed the king. But, apart from that, I just don't see him as a bad person for some reason. <laughs> See, I was, I was just scrolling through the episode real quick just to see if there's anything else that I wanted to talk about. And then I came to the scene where he was saying arigato to Mondog for considering him as a grandson. I'm like, he, I don't know, man. I don't know. I hope this show is going to prove me right that he's still uh, a good person at heart, even though he killed the king. I, I, I don't know. We'll see. And I love how the, all the people in the, uh, not all the people, those two um, guards, whatever, <laughs> hang dear, I don't know how they're saying it. And the other one was teasing Hack. <laughs> I love that. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And if you like this reaction, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and please consider supporting my Patreon at patreon.com slash for And if you want to see the very next episode, my reaction to the very next episode, you can also find it there. And the full for this reaction, there as well at patreon.com slash fairly meaning. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.